On this week's edi edition of The Overtime, we'll spotlight the NAU track and field team's record-breaking performance. Then, we'll look at how the Lumberjacks volleyball team played in the Big Sky Tournament. Plus, we spotlight a star Flagstaff baseball player and talk NAU golf's recent Valley Tournament. All that and more on this edition of The Overtime. And good evening and thank you for joining us. Welcome to The Overtime, Northern Arizona's only sports show. I'm your host, Michael Manny, joined by sports reporter, Daniela Romero. Daniela, are you ready to get into this week's action? Thanks, Michael. Let's get into it. And first off, the NAU track and field teams had an extraordinary performance at the GCU Antelope Invitational in Phoenix last weekend, posting 42 total personal records and events. Daniela, what exactly did these teams accomplish? The NAU track and field team had a great start to the Antelope Invitational at Grand Canyon University. Six athletes achieved personal bests in two separate events. Freshman Will Peralta ran a time of 11.73 in the men's 100-meter dash, and another personal record time of 14.60 in the men's 110-meter hurdles. On the women's side, freshman Kenya Coburn and junior Jenna Figueroa achieved personal best marks of 11.67 and 11.99 meters for the triple jump. The men and women's track and field event proved to be successful for the Jacks, as eight of the 13 personal records in distance came from this event. After their great showing in Phoenix, next up for these Lumberjacks is the Brian Clay Invitational in Azusa, California, April 14th through the 16th, and the Beach Invitational in Long Beach, California, April 16th and 17th. Staying at the collegiate level, the NAU volleyball team season came to an end April 1st in their second Big Sky Tournament match, losing to Weber State three sets to one after beating Sacramento State the day before. Daniela, how did these games unfold? These girls put it all out there on the court, getting their first win 3-0 against Sacramento State, while the Lumberjacks only had one more kill than the Hornets. And you committed 70 fewer attacks. Game leaders of this Big Sky Tournament were Taylor Jacobson, who had 10 kills, 3 aces, and 2 blocks. Freshman Layla Hollis led the ace assault with a career-high 6, tying the school record in a 3-set match. She is the fourth Lumberjack to record six aces and the first since Jennifer Rogers in 1992. The next day going up against Weaver State had a different turn as the Lumberjacks lost 3-1. Although these ladies may have lost this one, they still put in the effort and work that led them to a season that they will reflect back on in the future. Despite losing to the eventual Big Sky champion Weaver State, the Lumberjacks still finished this unusual season 10-6, fourth in the conference. With a roster full of underclassmen, this team will only grow from this experience and will be able to carry that momentum into next year. Shifting to the pitch after a 2-2 draw and a 3-1 loss to Northern Colorado in their last two regular season games, the NAU soccer team has a 6-2-1 record with the Big Sky Tournament on the horizon. Daniela, how has this team season played out? Well, Michael, these Lumberjacks had quite the season with six wins and two losses and one game canceled due to weather. On Monday, April 5th, they lost to Northern Colorado 3-1. These Lumberjacks responded to the opponent eight minutes later with their own goal, running 1-1 one one with their UNC defender Maddie Barco. Sam Larberg scored the equalizing goal into the eight right bottom corner of the net. After Larberg goal, the NEU limited to, to more shots during the first half. These girls were limited to six shots compared to Northern Colorado. With Northern Colorado having a stronger attacking presence in the later half of the match, UNC was able to put up two more goals in the last few minutes of the game. As they approach the Big Sky Tournament on April 15th, hopefully their past experiences will lead them to success. Since the Lumberjacks finished second in the Southeast Division, they will be taking on Northwest Division winner Montana in the Big Sky Tournament, April 15th. The Grizzlies finished the regular season an undefeated 7-0, the best record in the conference. And don't go anywhere. After the break, we have more on the previous Coconino baseball pitcher who went across town to join the rival team. <laughs> 